Hello and welcome to my tutorial for Firehouse Software. Today we're going to uh, do a little tutorial on uh, how to create an inspection. Uh, the last time when we did a uh, tutorial we did one on creating a new occupancy. Um, and now that we have that new occupancy uh, in our system, in our database, we're going to uh, create an inspection um, so that we can send it to our iPad and go out to the location and inspect the property. Okay, first I want to take a look at, um, I just want to show you um, <clears throat> the inspection checklist. And where you go is you go to File, Code Inspections, and go to Inspection Checklist. Um, here you will see um, the inspection checklist, and I have Georgetown Fire, which is actually my uh, default. Um, uh, checklist for uh, my inspections. You should have um, purchased, um, of course, if that that is if you use the NFPA Book One um, uh, codes, um, you should have purchased a um, set of codes from uh, Firehouse that um, gets imported into your uh, your database. So um, mine's already correct uh, created, and I just wanted to uh, kind of show you a little bit of what we have here. Um, we use the, uh, the state's form. Um, it's actually the state of Kentucky's uh, uh, form from the state fire marshal's office. And all we did is just went and uh, found the violation code here, um, you know, in the chapter that it was, and just uh, selected that, that code. And what we ended up with was 42 um, questions. Um, in order to uh, do an inspection, we have to have all 42 um, um, questions answered. And don't worry, it won't let you go any further if you don't have all 42 answered. But um, if you're familiar with the iPad app, you'll you'll understand how it works. But I just wanted to kind of show you that a little bit, and you can add or or take out any um, codes that you want to, um, you know, rearrange it to. To your liking, you know, I can move this uh, chapter 34 up just a little bit um, just by clicking this arrow um, and you know putting it in the, um, the right place um, of my choosing. If I wanted to add one, I can uh, just add and I can name it and you know go from there, find that that code and and so on. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Okay, Let's close that out. And you can do this one of two ways. Um, I, I am going to open up the occupancy and go uh, that direction, um, and then we'll we'll go in and, and create an inspection through the inspection icon. Um, so first, I want to locate the business that I want to uh, create an inspection for, and that's going to be um, Georgetown Fire Department Station Three. Um, if you were following along with the new occupancy, that's this is the one that uh, we just created. So you look through the tabs up here at the top. You've got address, building, uh, owner, uh, and contact. And then you'll find the tab for inspections and activities. Okay. So then what I want to do is I want to add an inspection. Okay. Um, again, there's your occupancy ID, the name of the occupancy, type of inspection, um, I'll go to inspection and I have set mine on uh, 290. Um, this is for my general inspections. And a little warning box will come up and ask you if you want to create a new uh, inspection. And of course, yes, we do. Okay. So here's some other information that we do have to fill out in order to get it to manage my inspections. Okay. Um, Again, the, we have to fill out who's going to do the inspection. That's me. It'll automatically put my stuff in here. And then um, I just created a, a code for D for A shift. And unit, again, I have to associate that with um, the INSP or inspector, which is what we also put on the um, occupancy. Okay, so that those will link together. And then when you send it to the cloud, it, it, everything will, will 
pan out. Okay. So I'm going to use today's date. I'm going to go ahead and schedule it for today. I don't worry about the times and so on. And I want to save. Do I want to print a no violation code? No, I do not want to do that. And it's saved. And I'm going to save again. Okay. So you see that you have a scheduled or revised inspection um, down here. Um, start time has not been done, it's not been completed, so it's ready to um, go to the cloud. So, how do we get it to the cloud? Well, to the cloud, you go to File, and you should have gotten the Cloud Sync Utility um, installed. It's one of the add ons that you absolutely need in order to get it to manage my inspections. Okay? So, <clears throat> What we do here is, you know, just pull this box up. And it might take a couple seconds. I'm going to let it run through, but it, I'm going to go ahead and click sync. And it will go ahead and through its process, collect the data, um, pull some data, and then it's going to push, push the data. Okay. And I'm going ahead and log in and manage my inspections, and uh, we'll, uh, Show you how that works here in a second. Um, and you can see, you know, through here it is um, uploading um, some of the information from my pre plans that I did um, last week because I haven't done a sync yet. But um, it's giving me my uh, business information and all that. And of course, we just started using Hydrants. Um, we just input that data in here um, last week, and so it's got a little bit of stuff to, to get up to the web. So it may take just a little bit of time. We're all done. Um, everything should be up on the cloud at this time. Um, we can look through and see what's been pushed and, and pulled. Um, but um, go ahead and close. And I'm going to bring bring over manage my inspections. Okay. And you know here. Um, this will be the website. This is your cloud base um, of where your files actually go. Um, you can look right here. Here's my unit um, inspector. And I have one business that is scheduled for today. Okay. And there you go. Um, Georgetown Fire Department Station 3, 101 Airport Road. Um, it's got Paul Goodman as the inspector, which is all correct. And. Um, now all I need to do is go to my iPad and sync my iPad with the cloud, and we're good to go. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. My email is ffgood115 at gmail.com. Or you can leave a comment on this photo, and I'll be glad to get back to you and answer any questions you have. Thanks, and have a great day.